Hello, my name is Lukas Brunke and I'm presenting our paper on practical considerations for discrete time implementations of continuous time CBF safety filters. This is joint work with my colleagues Silzi Zhou, Ming Xuan Chi, and my supervisor, Professor Angela Schellig. The goal of our work is to design a safety filter that can be applied to real-world robotic systems. We consider continuous time control affine systems, where the goal is to keep the system inside a safe set C. This set is defined based on the control barrier function H. First, some important background on control invariance. Intuitively, if we're starting in a set C with state x at time 0, if there exists a feasible control input that keeps the system inside the set for a future time, for example, x at time t is still in set C, then the set is called control invariant. We also refer to this as safety. So what is a CBF? It is a continuously differentiable function H, and its zero superlevel set defines a safe set C. If the CBF condition here in equation one is satisfied, then the set C is control invariant. The lower bound in the CBF condition uses a class kappa function, which passes through the origin and is strictly increasing. Let's look at the CBF condition in more detail. The CBF condition is a scalar condition for control invariance. So what does this mean? On the boundary, the goal is to return back into the safe set. And inside the safe set, you're almost free to do whatever you want, as long as you don't approach the boundary too quickly. We can use this idea in a safety filter. A safety filter takes an uncertified control input and potentially modifies and certifies them before applying a safe control input to the robotic system. This filtering can be formulated as a quadratic program. The objective is to match the uncertified control input and the constraint is the CBF condition. The resulting quadratic program can be efficiently solved online for nonlinear system. We implemented the CVF safety filter on a quad order with an uncertified input that makes the quad order drop. The CVF safety filter tries to prevent the quad order to get too close to the ground. However, suddenly there are jumps in the control input and the quad order ends up leaving the safe set. So why is this happening? The first problem is caused by the relative degree of the system. The CBF definition assumes a relative degree of one over the entire state space. It turns out that this assumption is often violated in many examples. Intuitively, the relative degree indicates the number of times the CBF has to be differentiated along the dynamics until the control input appears. If the relative degree is not equal to one, then the CBF optimization reduces to an unconstrained optimization problem where the potentially unsafe control policy pi of x is certified. Let's look at this using a couple of examples. In the first example, we have a linear system with a linear CBF. We also assume that the vector p is not orthogonal to the input matrix B. In this case, the relative degree is equal to one and constant over the entire state space. See also the plot on the right. This satisfies the condition in the CBF definition and the CBF condition yields a constraint on the control input everywhere. In the second example, we again have a linear system 
with a linear CBF. However, now we assume that the vector P is orthogonal to the input matrix B. In this case, the relative degree is not equal to 1. However, it is still constant over the entire state space. See also the plot on the right. Here, the CBF condition does not yield a constraint on the control input, and instead, higher order CBFs have to be leveraged. Finally, we present the third example. In this example, we have a linear system with a quadratic CBF. In this case, the relative degree is state dependent and there's a line of states where the relative degree is not equal to one. For those states, the control input has no effect on the condition and arbitrary inputs can be certified. The second issue is that we cannot determine new control inputs infinitely fast and only get discrete measurements from the system. This means whenever the relative degree is not equal to one, we apply arbitrary control inputs for the duration of the sampling time. How can we avoid this? One way is to modify the objective or the constraints. We have done both in our paper. So our first method relies on using a safe backup control policy when the relative degree is not equal to one. For this, we modify the objective to achieve a smooth switching between the desired and the backup policy. The objective then consists of the original safety filtering objective, the safety backup objective, where pi backup is the backup policy, and these two objectives get traded off by a weight that depends on the lead derivative. If the lead derivative is close to zero, for example, the relative degree is close to not being one anymore, this weight becomes very large and we rather apply control inputs closer to the backup policy. We also prevent division by zero by defining a threshold. We demonstrate the effectiveness of a CBF safety filter with our modified objective on the same quad order example. While using the same CBF, we are now able to prevent spikes in the control input and keep the system inside the safe set. Another method to prevent the presented issue is by transforming the safe set such that the closed loop operation does not enter states with relative degree that are not equal to one. Taking a CBF safe set and simply rotating it can also transform the set of states where the relative degree is not equal to one. We now present the successful application of this method to the quad order system. As you can see, the CBF safe set has been transformed and the safe set boundary has shifted. Once the system reaches the boundary of the safe set, the system is far away from states where the relative degree is not equal to one. The system can be kept inside the safe set as desired. Finally, we present our last method to approximate the safe set such that the resulting safe set has no varying relative degree issue. For example, a quadratic CBF safe set can be approximated by multiple affine CBFs instead. Note that the affine constraints have been selected such that the relative degree is always equal to one. We also demonstrate our last method on the quad order system. Again, the CBF safe set has been modified. This modification leads to the system approaching the boundary of the set much lower from the start. We show that the safety filter with the approximated safe set can keep the system inside this approximated safe set and there are no spikes in the control input. We again compare all four approaches. The naive implementation leads to spikes in the control input and safe set violation. 
In contrast, our three proposed methods, the modified penalty, the transformed safe set, and the approximated safe set, all lead to safety filters that achieve safety with much smoother control inputs. If you're interested in more details, I encourage you to check out our paper. Thank you for your attention.